Welcome to our 5 on 5. Please be joined today by Nancy Nordyke, the Executive Director of Southern Oregon Head Start. Nancy, good to see you. Thanks for being here. Nice to be here. Yeah, Thank you. My pleasure to have you. So uh, in case anybody doesn't know, what, what exactly do you guys do? Well, uh, Southern Oregon Head Start has been here for 50 years now. Congratulations. And, uh, thank you. We're very excited about that. And it's an organization that was started way back, obviously, in the 1960s. And the intent was to f uh, look at children who are not being successful in public school and figuring out why. And they determined that a lot of those children came from low-income families or families that had uh, difficulty providing the same type of opportunities for uh, children as middle-class families. So they did a lot of research and background, and so they uh, figured uh, what seems obvious now but was not then, that maybe the opportunities that children have before they go to public school has an impact on how well they learn and develop through school. Mm. So it started out as a school readiness uh, program and it still okay. is a school readiness program. Okay, so are these kids kind of uh, preschool age or how, how young? What, what, okay. what numbers are we talking about? Yeah, well Head Start is for three and four year olds before okay. they go to kindergarten. Sure. And then we also have Early Head Start now and that program starts when women are pregnant, prenatal uh, women and their infants and toddlers. So wow. uh, we don't have nearly as many slots in early Head Start, but uh, children can start uh, when their mothers are pregnant, essentially, and go all the way until kindergarten. Okay, and, and you talked about you guys are Southern Oregon uh, Head Start, so, yes. so you guys have a, have a big swath, a good size area. Who qualifies for the programs? Uh, well, our uh, program is really designed to serve those children who are low income or who uh, are uh, more likely to need some additional uh, help uh, or opportunities to be successful. So that might be children with special needs uh, who have speech delays, for example, or it might be a child who's in foster care or a family who's experienced homelessness. Uh, those sorts of situations. Mm, okay, and you guys are recruiting already right now. Yes, for we're next, recruiting. For the fall. Yes, we're recruiting okay. for next year right now. Okay. So please call or look at our website, and we'll get an application going. For yeah, you. and people don't have to come all the way to Medford or anything like that. You guys no. are all over Jackson, Justin. County. That's right. That's right. We have we actually have centers in twenty different. 26 different locations wow. throughout Jackson and Josephine County, so rural okay. areas as well as the, you know, more metropolitan areas. So. People definitely want to look you up and yes. see if they can qualify. It doesn't hurt to ask, Absolutely, because right? okay. it's at no cost to families. Okay, well, we got a lot to talk about, so we're going to take a quick commercial break. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back to our 5 on 5. Again, we're here with Nancy Nordyke from Southern Oregon Head Start. So you guys were talking about this big anniversary you have coming up and, mm -hmm. and an organization, a nonprofit, uh, funded with, with grants, federal and state? Federal and state, okay. yes. Okay, all right. And, and so uh, you guys serve a lot of Jackson, Josephine County, a lot of kids, uh, but you guys have been doing this for 50 years. Yes. Tell us how you're going to celebrate this. Yeah, well, we have a celebration planned on May 3rd at Inn of the Commons from 5.30 to 7.30, and we're really hoping to... Um, have this is an opportunity to celebrate all the impact that we've had throughout the community and we're hoping some uh, children who are uh, now adults uh, who have been through the program uh, will be uh, attending as well as uh, parents who had their children in the program because we Excellent. do hear from those people regularly as well as uh, various supporters and advocates and partners we rely a lot on our partners to help uh, families get the needed services that they need. Sure, and, and you know, we're talking, talking about the programs, of course, uh, this, everything is pre-K, but you guys are not just working with the kids. You guys are working with the parents, so it's a huge part of it. That's right. It's a two-generation program because in order, first of all, children need stable lives, so they need comprehensive services, but they also need that over time. And so children are always with their parents. Their parents are always going to have an influence and the most important influence. So mm -hmm. we work with them as well. Okay, and, and in 50 years, you know, what, where have you seen the most change? Or what kind of, what kind, has your mission changed? Or Our mission uh, has pretty much stayed the same in order to prepare children and their families to be successful in school and throughout their lives. And research shows that we're very effective in that. 
uh, but we have expanded our programs. So in addition to Head Start and Early Head Start, we have the LISTO program, which is a family literacy program for primary Spanish-speaking families. Uh, we have the Family Connection, which is another grant-funded uh, uh, program uh, that is provides parenting education to families all across uh, the counties, uh, not income-based at all. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we also have Preschool Promise, which is similar to Head Start. Wow, so much going on. Yes. I and mean, you're very busy. 50 years. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you so you much. Thank you so for doing much. This. I appreciate it. Thank you. Stay with us. We'll be right back.